Now think about this. Suppose we have a square matrix of order 2 with elements A, B, C and D. Suppose I want to find the eigenvalues for this. The approach will be writing the characteristic equation which is A minus lambda i determinant is 0 which is det of A minus lambda B, C and D minus lambda determinant should be 0. When we expand this, we get the characteristic equation as lambda square minus a plus d into lambda plus a d minus b c. Now if we compare this with a general quadratic equation that's a x square plus b x plus c, we already know that this can be represented as x square plus b by a x plus c by a equals 0 where we have divided the equation with a where the negative of x coefficient that is minus b by a is the sum of roots and similarly the c by a is taken as the product of roots. Now if we compare this equation with this, we can clearly make out the negative coefficient of lambda should be the sum of roots. So I can write, if I take the roots of this as lambda 1 and lambda 2, I can write the sum of roots that is lambda 1 plus lambda 2 negative of this coefficient which is a plus d and the product of roots that is lambda 1 into lambda 2 is a d minus b c. Now sum of a and d is nothing but the trace of this matrix. Therefore, I can write the sum of the roots is equivalent to trace of A. And what is this AD minus BC? It's nothing but the determinant of A. This is a very, very important observation. This can be extended for 3 by 3 matrix as well and even for any n by n matrix. So let's make a note of this. The first observation is the sum of roots, that is sigma lambda, it is the trace of the square matrix. On the same lines, the product of the roots is the determinant of the matrix. Now just think for a second, when does the determinant become 0? It becomes 0 only when one of the roots becomes 0. Therefore, we can write this as if the debt of the matrix is 0, that is if the matrix is singular, then one of the eigenvalue is 0. Then let's say there's a matrix A and if it has the eigenvalues some lambda 1, lambda 2 and lambda 3. What happens if I take the transpose for this matrix? If you carefully observe, whenever we take a transpose, only the elements which are on either side of the diagonal change, but the diagonal elements will remain same. Therefore, transposing does not change the eigenvalues, they remain the same. What if I take a product, something like a into a? This can be written as a square. Now, if a has lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3, a square will have lambda 1 square, lambda 2 square, and lambda 3 square. On the same lines, a matrix to the power of k will have lambda 1 power k, lambda 2 power k and so on. And for inverse matrix, the eigenvalues are 1 by lambda 1, 1 by lambda 2 and 1 by lambda 3. These properties are used in solving the numericals in gate questions. Let's take few examples. Here is a question asked in gate 2010. Consider the following matrix A with elements 2, 3, x, y. If the eigenvalues of A are 4 and 8, then some values for x and y, we need to find which among these is correct. Here we will be using the property of eigenvalues. We know that sum of the roots is the trace of the matrix and the product of the roots is determinant of the matrix. And it's given that one of the root. So let's take lambda 1 as 4 and the second root is 8. So lambda 2 is 8. The sum of the roots is trace of the matrix. Therefore, I can write lambda 1 plus lambda 2 must be the trace of this that is 2 plus y. Once we substitute these values 4 plus 8 equals 2 plus y which means that y is equals to 10. Now using the second property the product of roots is debt of the matrix that is lambda 1 into lambda 2 will be equal to debt of a. So lambda 1 is 4 into lambda 2 is 8 is equal to debt of this is that is 2y minus 3x. We already know y is 10. So when we substitute this, we get 32 equals 20 minus 3x. And when we solve for x, x becomes minus 4. Therefore, option D is correct. Here is a question asked in gate 2012. Let A be a 2 by 2 matrix with elements A11, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, plus 1, and A22 2, 2 is minus 1. Then the eigenvalues of the matrix A power 19 are, and we have set of options. First, let's write the matrix A is 1, 1, 1 and minus 1. 
we need to find eigenvalues for a power 19. We already know if a has eigenvalue lambda, then a power 19 will have eigenvalue lambda power 19. So what we'll do is we'll find out the eigenvalue for a, then just we'll take the power of 19. So to find the eigenvalue, let's write the characteristic equation. By solving the characteristic equation, we get lambda as plus or minus root 2. Now we need to find lambda power 19. Let's take the positive value first, root 2 power 19, which is 2 power 9 into root 2. That's 5, 1, 2, root 2. On the same lines, for negative, it becomes minus 5, 1, 2, root 2. Therefore, the correct answer is option D.